Hi, so today I'm going to talk about Amazon Associates program or Affiliates program as it's sometimes known and the um, advantages and disadvantages and if it's worth joining. So if you're thinking of joining it just to get some extra income or you already have an established business, you already have a website uh, or presence on social media, then this video is going to be for you. But please do like and subscribe, first of all. It does really help me out and helps me make these videos that you can enjoy for free. I have a lot of other videos as well, all on travel, lifestyle, investments, that sort of thing. So do take a look. There's various playlists. You can just listen in the background um, while you're doing something else and learn something while you're tidying the house or having dinner, whatever it is you're doing. So um, I do also have a money-saving page on Facebook. It's called Thrifty Sorry. Even though it is it does say sorry in the name, actually, some of the offers are relevant to wherever you are. So I do put my videos on there too, and you'll have early access if you do like the page. So do have a look. Well, first of all, what is the Associates Program? Well, it's basically a scheme where you get a small percentage of a sale if someone clicks through one of your Amazon links. So that if you already have a website, a business that has a website, you could put products that are relevant to your business. For example, I have an English and Spanish teaching business. So I put products like learning materials and guidebooks and dictionaries, sorts of learning resources there. Or you could have, say, a money-saving page. And whenever there's a deal or an offer on Amazon, they do have quite a lot for Prime members. You could also share that or oh, whenever there's a lightning deal, the Amazon warehouse deals. I'll show you now the sort of things that you could share with your audience. So first of all, I'll actually show you the associates, how it looks from your side. Um, you see here the um, amounts you've earned when someone clicks on your link. It's all quite self-explanatory and easy to use. You see what they buy, um, how much you earn, when you'll get paid, that sort of thing. And there's more analysis deeper in there. You can see um, what products are the most popular, um, what the percentages are, review the agreement, all of that sort of thing. So... You can also promote bounties, other things like Prime, Prime Video, to give people free trials. And you do still get paid even if they cancel the trials. So that's an advantage of the program, definitely. So what I normally do is go to today's deals and see what's around. So normally I go for the deals that have a highest percent off, like that one 77% off. Or obviously the higher price items are going to get you more revenue as it's generated in a percent. Obviously there's books there. That's quite good if you have a teaching or learning business. Also lightning deals are quite good to try and persuade people to buy before the deals end. So you can see like here at this one that's 67% already claimed that. And it's 32% off. Sometimes it shows other things like her save five if you buy four, save if you subscribe and save. Uh, other exclusive deals for Prime members, like when there's Prime Day. So say I want to promote this, you can also put to Facebook and Twitter, provided that you've put those page links on your Amazon Associates Agreement. I'll talk more about that later. But the most simple way is a text link. You can share that to, um, as I said, the Facebook group page, as long as it's a group that you're the only moderator or admin of. And Amazon have approved that. So what do you do if you want to test it works as well? You just copy that link and open it in a new browser. You should see it has your ID there somewhere in the URL of that. If you do have a website, then um, what I did was use the medium image and the HTML that was generated there. My designer put that in my site for me because I don't have the knowledge to do that myself. But if you do then obviously that's better. You won't need to pay someone else to do that for you. So there's various options there. I do also like to have a look, as I said, about the a warehouse or outlet where they have products at a massively discounted price. 
I like to look at essential items as well, like grocery. Um, I do also have a travel page, Travel with Howard, so I do put travel-related things on there as well. And I normally promote things that do have a discount. So you're saving other people money, but you are being reimbursed for your time as well. And your your revenue, your commission doesn't affect their pricing at all. So actually, that brings me to the disadvantage is that they're quite strict with how they work. So you do need to disclose that you're getting revenue from these links, both on your page and whenever you post a link. And they do have a lot of other rules as well about what you are and aren't able to do to promote the products, the images you're able to use. It is all in the agreement, which does vary slightly depending where you are. So I would suggest reading that before. And again, like I said, only posting on approved pages. So if your website is on the list, it's approved. That's fine. You can post links there as long as you disclose it. But you're not able to start sharing into other groups, forums, um, unless you're approved to do that and you're the only moderator. So in terms, they do have some other rules in terms of like pricing. If you quote a price for a product, you have to always say correct as of that date whenever you posted it as prices do go up and down and change. You must only use the images that are in, in the link or that are auto-generated from the link. You're not able to use lots of other ones. You're not able to copy reviews that people have left as those belong to Amazon, not you. So unfortunately, you aren't able to promote it if it has five-star reviews. You aren't able to just copy and paste and say, oh, look, these are some great reviews there because Amazon considers that their property and not yours. So there's quite a few different rules you have to follow. They're pretty strict. Um, there are people who do find ways around them or don't follow them, but you are always at the risk of having your associate's account terminated if you do that. And the other disadvantage is you do need to generate three sales in the first 180 days. So um, if you already have an established business or even some of mine weren't that established yet, like the money saving page, then you shouldn't find it too hard because I was able to do that. So, um, but it is something to be aware of. Unfortunately, if you don't generate three in 180 days, you're, you won't be able to proceed and take part in the program. You also aren't able to share links with friends and family um, or people that you live with. They do have various ways of figuring out if you're doing that um so it's just something you have to you're not not able to send them to your friends on whatsapp and things like that or emails as well um you aren't able to do the advantages are is pretty simple like even if you don't have a website you can still promote on your facebook page or group if you have one you can generate a link for most products on amazon um and it's pretty easy to do. So most people buy things from Amazon anyway. So it's quite a good way to generate a bit of extra money. And they do have various tips like webinars. Um, sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Sorry, I forgot to take a hay fever tablet today. So they do have various webinars, email tips, and um, tips on how to promote, especially when there's a promotion going on, like Prime Day. And then it's quite easy to promote products because there's a lot of products that are quite cheap. But as I said, it is a lot easier if you do already have an established business or following on social media. So those are my tips. I'm sure there's lots more tips out there online as well about whether it's worth it or not. The other disadvantage is you do need to wait until you've earned 25 pounds or dollars, I believe, in the US revenue before you get your first payout. So it's pretty frustrating if you're near the limit and um, still haven't been paid. But that's just how it is with Amazon, unfortunately. So I hope you found my review useful. Feel free to check out my page or see links in the description below for other tips. As I said, please do like and subscribe. I'll be back next Wednesday with another video. But for now, thanks for joining and goodbye.